Hey guys, welcome back to the Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X for the PS2. And this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com, your number one source for video game walkthroughs. Alright, we just got up from our little nightmare nap and, uh, can't find Waka. Good place to start looking is the temple, I'd say. A lot of crazy stuff going down in this temple. A lot of crazy stuff. And I don't think we've seen the last of the craziness. Hmm. Ah, here he is. Is something wrong? The summoner hasn't returned from the trial. Huh? Well, apprentice summoner, really. Huh? There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the apprentice becomes a fully fledged summoner. Remember? Uh, so someone is in there somewhere and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. A day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed. Like I care. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. The Cloister of Trials. Those who seek to learn of Yevin's secret arts are tested by the Cloister of Trials. Find the right way and you will be taken to the Chamber of Faith. Examine objects with X to open the way. All right, piece of cake. I mean, we just kind of pissed off everyone and shit on their belief system, but that's okay because like I care. Let's check this place out though. A strange glyph glows. Oh? Alright, yeah, I'll just put my hand on it there. Of course! Ida seems to know what he's doing. <laughs> Alright, so we'll check this out. A glyph glows on the wall. Touch the glyph. It's pretty self-explanatory right now. Alright, good stuff. Here we go. Hmm, what do we got here? You must use a sphere to go any further. I don't got a sphere, man. Oh no, more crazy shit. Glyph spheres open the way to the Chamber of the Faith. Destruction spheres open the way to hidden treasure. It seems that besaid spheres are also necessary. Hey, there's a sphere. Removed Glyph Spear. You can only carry one spear at a time. Why? I got another hand, don't I? See? Left arm there. I don't know, is it really heavy? Is that why it can't carry two? Well, then why am I not using both arms to carry it if it's so heavy? Seems pretty light to me. Look, I'm running around with it. I can't hold two. Ah, it's just for the challenge's sake. It's not supposed to make any sense. Yeah, these are the Cloister of Trials, folks. Final Fantasy X's little puzzle games. And they might confuse you. Or they might not. The door seems to be locked by an unseen force. You see a sphere-shaped recess. Alright, we'll just insert the sphere. Yeah, basically this is Final Fantasy X's puzzle games of putting spheres and holes and touching glyphs and this or that. And we're going to be going around to all these temples and checking out these Cloister of Trials and figuring shit out. And they do... Uh, have hidden treasures also that are in here but uh, those are optional I mean sometimes you can miss out on them of course I would not pass them up I would not say you know hey just forget the the treasures because they're pretty good decent shit you see a sphere shaped recess hmm all right so how about this let's go back and get our original sphere from the door yeah and you know basically it's kind of like a trial and error and I can show you, uh, I can show you a little bit of that process. Uh, insert this spear here. Alright, well, there goes that spear. We got a door here. Oh? Hmm. Alright, so let's take this destruction spear. Remove destruction spear. Alright, so what about it? We got this. What about this? 
Insert the destruction spear. No go. No go. We got a problem. Oh, wait a minute. Touch the symbols. Alright, good stuff. We got another door here. So let's see. We have another spear here. You found a besaid spear. Let's take that out. Whoa! Remove the besaid spear. Okay, so... You know, I could remove that spear with my other hand. Maybe it goes there. This is what I'm talking about. That back and forth shit. Because let's say this spear goes here. But maybe it doesn't. Maybe it goes over here and this little spear hole. Let's put that in there. And no go. So it's an, it's really kind of a little repetitive, a little annoying. My guess is that spear goes over here. Yeah? So how do we play this? So, well, we gotta, we gotta remove this spear first. Let's do that. And hmm, maybe we'll put that here. Insert the destruction spear. Wait a minute, where's that line going? Aha! Of course, there must have been more to that dead end hallway. So that's where our treasure is. Good stuff. Alright, let's collect our prize. And once again, that was optional, I didn't have to put that there. Obtained Rod of Wisdom. You can obtain hidden items by using destruction spheres. There we go, now we know that. So let's collect that other spear that we just kind of set aside. Here it is. Take the spear. And our besaid spear, we will put here. Insert the spear. There you go! Hmm. Move the pedestal set with a spear to the correct place. If you move it improperly, step on the shining glyph to return the pedestal to its original place. Basically, it's like a reset. See that shiny, blinky thing over there? If I screw up moving this pedestal or anything, because I can move it anywhere, really, then I just put that and it resets everything. But you know what? We're pretty good, so we're just going to push this straight forward. Come on, Titus. You can do it. Forget about the presets! Hey! What's gotten into you? Hey, it's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. It's a tradition, very important. So what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? Summoners go on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. The Guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse, and who knows what the other's thinking. Well, now that we come this far, might as well go all the way. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it? No, it's, uh, it's just... See, I told you she gets mad easy. Is the summoner all right? Who are you?
I've done it. I have become a summoner. Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. All right, so that is Yuna, and she just became a fully-fledged summoner. Good stuff. Uh, look, buddy, about before, sorry I just kind of shat on all of your, uh, you know, religious m voodoo. Uh, no hard feelings? Putting your transgression aside for now, let us celebrate the birth of a summoner. All right, well, what's going to happen to me later? I mean, am I out on bail? Do I have to face a penalty, a punishment? Only sworn guardians may approach the Cloister of Trials. Hey, well, I already violated it once, man. Does it really matter anymore? Anyway, enough of this place. Let's head out, check out what's going on with the summoner. Hmm. Where is everybody? Hey, over here! What? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ow! Wait till you see this. I can't see anything. Ready. Okay. I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. All right, and this is Yuna's first Aeon that she just acquired from this temple. We have a name set up for it right now, Valfur. We'll just confirm that. I remember that night we talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed. For everyone. For me. Let me introduce you to the team. This guy here wants into the tournament so bad, I let him on the team. His memory's a little fuzzy, so don't mind him if he says anything odd. Come on, say hi. Uh, hi guys. Hi. So what's our goal? To do our best! <laughs> nope, we got a new goal now. Our new goal is victory! To win every match, defeat every opposing team, to bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? Victory! 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 Yeah! 
Victory! Way to go, Waka. You sure got the boys worked up, huh? I'll say. But I don't think Titus was really interested in the whole, you know, tournament coming up. I think he had his eyes elsewhere. Anyway, let's see what the guys are saying. Hey, I was hoping you'd join the team all along, yeah? There are going to be six teams from all over Spear at the tournament. It's a rough setup. One loss and you're through, yeah? Victory, huh? Hit the other team hard and make it easy on the goalkeeper, yeah? Everyone's acting like we've already won. Not that I can blame them, yeah? Okay. Overconfidence is a scary thing, fellas. You heathen! Stay away from the summoner! You're a bad man! Lady Yuna, be careful. But it was really my fault to begin with. Oh. 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 I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... Wasn't I not supposed to... Guess I kind of overreacted. Oh, no. I was overconfident. Um, I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? Lady Yuna, come play with me some more. So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? We can talk more. Huh. You can tell me all about Xanarkind. She's cute, yeah? Don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? That's not going to happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. Damn. Come on, Waka. Give me a little support, man. I think I'll go talk to her some more. Stay away from the summoner! Good God, Jesus! Every time I play this game, everyone who plays this game just loves that line. Stay away from the summoner! Stay away from the summoner! Stay away from the summoner! Again and again, they knew what they were doing when they read that line. Oh, we'll just stick that in here. Make sure we can say it again and again. Stay away from the summoner! <laughs> they specifically made sure to make that line stand out. Oh, I just know. Anyway, damn, look at this bonfire going. Hello! Oof, alright, so... Walk has made a bed for me. No more of this summoner, high summoner stuff. I don't know what's going on. Waka? Hmm, ready for bed. Good, sleep tight. And it looks like we have another dream. But this time, we can actually control Titus. Hey, that's Yuna. What's she doing here, in my dream? Where's, Where's that, that boat? boat? Everyone, Everyone will, will find, find us, us if it doesn't, it doesn't come, come soon. soon. You, you really, really sure this, this is okay? okay? Would, Would you, you take, take me, me to Xanarkand? Said you'd go with me. Oh, hey, I, uh. I thought, I thought Waka, Waka told you not to get any ideas. ideas. He did? Uh. Yeah. Yeah, so you're, so coming, you're coming with, with me. me. Hey, stop dreaming! You with a woman? You can't even catch a ball! Oh, what's the matter? 
Gonna cry again. Cry, cry. That's the only thing you're good for. I hate you. Huh? What'd you say? You have to speak loudly. I hate you! Huh? That's the spirit. You can do it. I hate you! He's dead, okay? Dead. He does look a lot like Chapu. I was surprised too, the first time I saw him. But no matter what he looks like, he isn't Chapu. You shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Yeah, but he needed our help. Excuses again? Yeah, but... That's it. No more. Enough, Waka. So, who's Chapu? My little brother, Chapu. He looked like you. He's dead? He was with the Crusaders when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. I became a guardian to fight Sin, yeah? Revenge, then? That was the idea. <laughs> I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full-time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you, but I'm not. Don't worry. I mean, I owe you a lot. You really... Help me out, you know? What I mean is... Thanks, Waka. <laughs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. Okay, finally, morning at last. Well, that was a funny little nightmare Titus had. He's been having some bad dreams lately, man. Of his father making fun of him, saying he just cries all the time. By the way, Jekt is voiced by Greg Berger, a very great voice actor whose resume is endless. He's been in just about everything. So many shows, I could tell you. Anyway, here we go. I look like Waka's brother, Chapu. But he's not using me, so it's okay. Hey, sleepyhead. Something I want to give you. Whoa! You're giving this? To me? Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago, when the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. You really don't need all that luggage. Ah, uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, you know. I guess... I guess you're right. Okay, off we go.
All right, and it looks like this is the start of our journey. And we're going to learn more about our characters, and things are going to get crazy. But before we head out and get on that boat, I think uh, I'm going to go back into the village, talk to the villagers, because they say different things. But right now, I think I'm going to call it a wrap, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X. I will see you guys next time. I am out.